Hey everybody, Ken Birdsell from KB Cars. Today we're going to check out this 2019 Chevy Colorado Z71. Make sure you subscribe, share this video, like it, comment down below if you have any questions. Stick around. This one's going to be really cool. Alright again, we're going to check out this 2019 Chevy Colorado Crew Cab Long Bed Z71 Colorado. Again, this one has got a lot to it. Z71 is the second highest trim uh, right there below the ZR2, which just basically gives you a lot more off-road capabilities. But it's a step above your LT, and uh, it's got... If you've, seen, if you've seen my other video on the LT with the Redline Edition, aside from the Redline package, it's got everything else that that truck has, obviously, except for those assist steps, too. But this one is in beautiful crush orange. Makes me want to get a drink. All right, guys. So, again, we're going to take a peek at this. This one, if you didn't see that badging, it's a diesel, Duramax diesel. It's a 2.8. This thing is quite a workhorse. 7,700 pounds of towing capability. We're going to go over a little bit more of that in a little bit. But again, most of this is just a standard Z71 with a few upgrades. And again, we'll cover that as we go along. So as we look at this side profile, it's a beautiful truck, really, when you look at it. Uh, your crew cab option, you, do, you can get the uh, extended cab, which has kind of a back seat. Not really designed much for anybody to ride back there. Uh, but this crew cab gives you a lot more leg room. This is the long bed, 74 inch, basically about a six foot bed to the back. You have the option for the shorter bed too, which is five feet. And you have any nice 17 inch rims. These are aggressive, these things are great. Look really nice. It's overall, it's a great stylish truck. I wasn't sure when I first saw it how I would feel about orange, but this thing is really growing on me. We do have a ZR2 in the same color as well and lots more inventory online. If you guys do have a question or would like to buy this truck, please make sure you comment down below or send me an email. One of the upgrades as we go to the front here is this grill. It's a, I believe it's a $475 option. It's called a lettered, Chevrolet lettered grill. As we look across, you can see it right there. It's kind of plasticky, but it's kind of cool in the same sense. Uh, fog lamps, recovery hooks down below, those are standard on your Z71. Um, your projector beam headlamps are great too, and uh, you have daytime running lamps as well. Get the back of your mirror caps, our body color, Colorado badging down the side, your handles are all body color. You have the black belt line molding all the way around, and you do still have the capless fuel, your death fluid can go in here as well. And again, the green cap to remind you that it is a diesel. The drop-in bed liner is an extra feature. You can get spray in, you can get no bed liner if you don't want one too. Um, I've seen some pretty cool places. Aftermarket, we have one here in Elyria, Ohio. 
that can do, they can basically match your body color um, if you want to do a spray in one. It's pretty cool. Uh, blacked out bow ties and all of your trailering equipment package there. The bumpers are body color too, which is pretty cool. You have your assist steps in the corners, just like on the big guys on the Silverados. Uh, those have that as well. And your backup camera is standard too. You have your easy lift gate, lift and lower tailgate, which is really nice. There's a tension bar that goes right across the bottom that helps that go down nice and easy and also helps it to go back up nice and easy too. Just like that. And we'll come down this other side here too. Again, Z71 has a nice off-road trim. I'm going to cover a little bit more of what all that entails. Let you take a peek at the window sticker as well. That fuel economy, 28 highway, 19 city uh, for this diesel truck. Again, it's a workhorse. A little bit lower in the horsepower, but a lot higher in your torque. Some of the add-on features. That diesel package gives you quite a bit with the tow haul mode, your exhaust and trailer brake controller, and uh, comes with that six-speed transmission. Again, your lettered grill, your bed liner, trailering equipment package, orange crush is a premium paint. Uh, bow tie emblems are black. Splash guards, wheel locks, and trailer hitch ball cover. Kind of unique. All right, so we're gonna take a peek here in this side so you can get an idea of that back seat. Kind of a two-tone interior. Same for the seating, you got cloth in the middle and then a leatherette kind of on the outside here. The Z71 gets a sliding rear window, though it's not power, it is manual, uh, but it is a sliding window option, along with the D rear defroster. You get uh, USB ports in the back, as well as a 12 volt charging system. If you wanna get an idea of what the dash looks like from the back, we'll take a look up closer here in a second. Your Z71 has really been always known for as being the, the off-road package. Uh, again, the ZR2 is a little bit more off-road capable, but uh, Z71 is really known for that, giving you off-road suspension. Uh, one of the big thing is the auto-locking rear differential and the transfer case shield. Those are really big. Hill descent control, uh, some of the other things we already talked about. Remote start is a standard feature. Um, power driver and passenger seats with lumbar support for both, and uh, heated steering wheel and wireless charging. Those are the kind of the big upgrades to go to the Z71. So as we come into this side, the driver's side, again, your power adjusting seat for the driver, the passenger seat has it too. Your lumbar support, this will move you forwards, backwards, up and down. Your uh, lumbar support there in the back support, surprisingly, is still manually adjusting. On your driver's side, on the door side here, power locks, windows, mirrors, child safety locks, window locks, all of your, those are heated outside mirrors as well. And come to your automatic light control, fog lights control here, four wheel auto, or your two wheel, automatic, four high, four low, neutral, so it can be flat towed. And then here's your integrated trailer brake controller right there. Nice leather wrapped steering wheel with heated cruise control, Bluetooth hands free, and these are going to control your DIC, your driver information center. I'll show you that here in a second. Behind the steering wheel, on your nine o'clock position, you can cycle through your radio presets on this side. And on the three o'clock position behind the steering wheel is your uh, volume control. Directional signals, high beams here. Over here is uh, your obviously your windshield wipers control. All right, so I said I'd show you here in a little bit more. All of these buttons right here control what goes on on your driver information center. So everything from your speed, uh, da -da -da -da, your radio station, navigation, uh, phone, so you can see who's calling in. Um, and you have you know, like your radio, all of that can all be done right on there. Uh, you'll be able to see tire pressure, oil life, all of that. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. You do get the 8-inch MyLink radio, which is really nice. 4G Wi-Fi hotspot built in that is optional. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto are all standard features. Uh, Sirius, Blue, uh, Sirius XM uh, you get for three months. 
uh, as a trial AM FM radio. You can do your music via, via Bluetooth. Down below you'll see USB and auxiliary ports. Uh, let's take a peek what else we got on here. It is I, uh, the um, infotainment system three. So it looks a little bit different from the old style, but it really works just about the same. Your camera, backup camera, you can do a trailering line right there, or you can do your normal lines. It's so really cool, you can see your bumper right across the bottom, even the orange trim, which is kind of cool. I don't think I ever noticed that before. Uh, so some really nice features there. And your secondary home screen, can have your radio, phone, kind of hooked up there. Either way, a little, there's some ways you can customize it to different users. And uh, as we move along, it's not dual climate control, but it is automatic climate control. Here's your exhaust brake I mentioned earlier as part of that diesel package. Uh, traction control, hazards, bed light, hill descent control, park assist sensors, which is really nice. Uh, I forgot to point that out on the bumpers in the back when you close, you have those little circles around there. Those are your little sensors. Heated seats for driver and passenger. And as we move along, you get your cup holders and wireless charging if your phone is compatible please make sure your dealer salesperson lets you know that uh, you've got your glove box to the left as we look up above on your rearview mirror it is auto dimming a little bit hard to tell I apologize the lighting's a little bit weird today um, but you have your hold of, yeah trying to get that for you guys apologize uh, but you, all of your OnStar features go down across the bottom of the mirror and up top all of your lighting control and your sunglass holder. And the vanity mirrors are lit. And that's pretty much it. Again, this is the diesel, so I know you guys probably want to see that uh, a little bit more, maybe hear it up a little bit closer. It'll help you out and um, then I'll let you go. So I know probably some of you are thinking, ugh, diesel, it's gonna be noisy, it's gonna be smelly. Uh, this thing's really, you can hardly tell. It's very quiet when you're driving it. The depth fluid is really nice. It just keeps it clean and, uh, and efficient for you. So I, I said it is a little bit lower on the horsepower than your V6. It's got 181 horsepower, 369 pound foot of torque though. Uh, when equipped properly, I think it's a two wheel drive. It gives you 7,700 pounds of towing capability. So this is gonna be right on its heels and uh, almost 1,500 pounds of a payload capability. It's a really nice truck, great wheelbase, gives you a nice smooth ride. So like 225 inches overall length, 140 on your wheelbase. Uh, just an overall great, great truck. I think it's the best in the class. I mean, I know the Ranger just came out, but uh, if you're ooing and eyeing over that, don't forget to check out the Colorado before you make your decision. If you have any questions on it, give me a shout. Make sure you let me know. You can just leave a comment down below or send me an email. I'm always glad to help you guys out if I can. And uh, thanks for checking it out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification so you get those uh, little pop-ups when an email or an email when the uh, new videos are posted. And uh, share it. Greatly appreciate it. And you guys have a great day.